water temperature is at about 55 degrees, between 50 and 55. Got two cups. We're going to let that paper stay up on top, paper ash. That helps the stove get going, radiates the heat back towards the fuel. With a little practice you can be able to determine when the, you could take the ash off. You'd be able to see right down in the center how the wood is igniting. That looks pretty good. Okay, we got a nice start and that little kindling up on top. And we got a good start of the fuel that's been vertical stacked. Now it's a good time to put our water on. Now lower this tripod and a little bit here. Turn it so you can see some flame. See how nice and clean that burns when you burn a vertical stack. Very little smoke coming off. Got a nice clean burn. I use corrugated stainless steel sheet as my windscreen, partial windscreen. Place it around the side of the stove that needs to be protected from wind. Like so. Let the wind blow it in if it needs to. Stainless steel. Place it on the ground to use it as a ground protecting device.
Just checking to see what kind of a breeze we got going through here, making a little smoke. Here's one of my prototypes using a uh, salt shaker. I made a lot of different uh, hole configurations to see which one worked best. There's another one. This is a um, bush cooker made by Four Dog Stove. I'll show you what that looks like in size comparison. The one made out of a salt shaker has a little bit more wood capacity than the bush cooker. The little stainless steel folding stove that I configured works good. Our water is starting to get to the noisy small bubble stage going to boil pretty soon. That's how that little stainless steel one folds up. Almost to a boil. thermometer in there. Yeah, we got a boil. Flames out. 